haven't got as much of a niche as she growls, but we try to look at uh, themes like social justice. Um, and I'm just going to read a couple. Um, thank you very much for giving me the time. Stars on your own, walking alone, crying out to the streets to hear you. You've taken a shot at being the one to speak for your neighbours and kin. But they're not alike, they only care for the quo, and they'll nod and they'll curtsy at will. Strike no fear into the heart of those who have none, in matches and notes in their purse. There is no war like the class war, but only the generals unite. And the privates, they stand and they grin oh so grand whenever the piano strikes up. And they'll sing and they'll march and parade up and down, never to be met with a frown. As families applaud their free flights abroad, the natives of lands that still in their hands quiver at the sight of their waves. And happy and glorious she stands over more of us than we even realise. At least 15 peoples of earth live in a dearth while only her tune rings out. So God save the Queen, a whimsical regime that should have died out with the last. It's not the fault of old Lizzie, but they should get busy and retire to Balmoral or Windsor or Kensington, or even fucking Kennington, just as long as it don't cost me a thing. And I'm fed up of wasting even a quid each year to keep the old deer in rags. She's not my concern, and I'd rather burn the paper bearing her face and kneel. My passport says she'll give me free pass, but I'd rather be liked, with, liked by the world. Not a plane trip goes by where you and I don't see the problems they've caused. If it's not famine, it's God, those silly old sods went and messed up too much to be true. We should all hold hands and slowly demand that our freedom is our right and they should lower the might given from lands of the poor. And then just a quick one about Grimsby, because I grew up in Grimsby. No one writes poetry about Grimsby. I know, I know. No one talks about us. Once the boys and girls were now the men and women in the solid towns of England. And no one visits us. Even if they did, they scratch through the surface of the towns that get worse each passing year. No one walks these streets, this land given away for tuppence to private enterprise. Some believed it would get better, that investment would replace intolerance and flood the streets. But the rest knew that growth was a myth. Those that could leave left. Those that couldn't stayed. Those who left now look at the moon from a, new, from a rooftop in a new town. Bastardised, simplified versions of those now gone from sight are reproduced by those who stayed. The rest of us watch the dirt roads as they trudge. They never look back.